the clock entrance to the bat cave with all these guests around. I need to use the entrance in the wine cellar. There's only one man in this entire city capable of defrosting Mr. Freeze. Whoever stole the Golden Skull is unwilling to come forward. We're going to have to do this the hard way.
to beat a billionaire! are roaming the streets of South Gotham while police are otherwise engaged, attempting to contain the ongoing protests that have rocked the city since Christmas Day. Gotham police are urging South Gotham residents to remain indoors for their own safety. The GCPD has been unable to disperse protesters, their presence only infuriating the people and inflating the numbers of citizens taking to the streets angry at the corruption revealed just seven days ago. The mayor has asked for citizens to be patient while he determines who will replace Gillian Loeb as police commissioner. But his request has been drowned out by the protester demands for real change. North Gotham is experiencing its sixth day of protests as the city reels from the events of Christmas Eve. The murder of police commissioner Gillian Loeb exposed a criminal conspiracy that spread to nearly every corner of the GCPD. Loeb was allegedly in league with underworld kingpins and is being blamed for undermining the entire justice system in Gotham. One of his subordinates, Lieutenant Scott Brandon, stands similarly accused. Brandon, currently suspended without pay, commands a division of SWAT in the South Gotham GCPD. He allegedly organized police across the city to take part in an assassination attempt on the vigilante known as the Batman. More reports of violence tonight. Diamond Districts has also given rise to increased gang activity. Stay tuned for updates on this developing story. Masked anarchists have claimed at least three corners in the streets of South Gotham tonight. Gotham police are busy dealing with protesters in North Gotham and Burnley has been cut off by the sudden appearance of a wall of ice. GCPD Captain James Gordon had this to say. Stay in your homes and do not provoke them. The police will handle this situation. The lack of police presence in the Coventry and Diamond Districts has also given rise to increased gang activity. Stay tuned for updates on this developing story. <laughs> and stormed do not... through Wayne Manor, saving who knows how many guests, including myself, and then raced off to rescue Ferris Boyle from this ice man, Mr. Freeze. Vicky. Vicky, you've had, what, three encounters with the Batman now? And you've had a gun to your head in all three of them. You don't think that could affect your opinion? I didn't have a gun to my head at the Royal Hotel. I was in our news chopper. Yeah, and those mercenaries nearly shot you down. The point is, we made it out of there fine, and I was the first to get the Batman on camera. A fact you continue to remind us of. And since that night, I've realized that the police are on the trail of the wrong man. Citizens of Gotham need to realize that the Batman is out there to protect them. And his so-called protection comes at the cost of an emergency room full of men with all sorts of physical trauma. All of them in a position to sue our city. Sue who? A masked vigilante with no known identity? 
How can they sue the city when they- This doesn't even take into account the damage caused to the structures all over Gotham. The Pioneer's Bridge nearly destroyed- All of which were damaged by criminals that the Batman has helped put away. That may be, Vicky. But we'll have to discuss that after this commercial break. You're kidding, right? He stole the GCPD. The numbers of protesters have swelled in North Gotham. When interviewed, many cite Mayor Hill's recent proposal to put Peter Grogan forward for the new position of Gotham City Police Commissioner. Shortly after the announcement, several media outlets received unmarked anonymous envelopes containing damning evidence linking Grogan to the Maroney crime family. Grogan initially denied the allegations but has refrained from making further comments on the advice of his lawyer. Unconfirmed and conflicting reports tonight of strange ice formations in South Gotham. One caller had this to say. A gun that shoots ice. Yes, I'm serious. Earlier reports of gang activity have been linked to these formations trapping people in ice. Police have so far dismissed these reports, stating that they believe it is a tactic protesters are using to reduce the police presence in North Gotham. We'll continue to follow this story. Stay tuned for updates. South Gotham residents can breathe a sigh of relief. Gotham police have confirmed that the anarchists terrorizing the city have been taken into custody. The studio has been inundated with calls claiming a black-winged specter attacked anarchists on a South Gotham rooftop and pummeled them into submission. Some citizens have named this dark shadow the Batman. But Gotham police claim it is their own work that brought down the anarchists. More on this story as it develops. Despite the best efforts of the GCPD, the numbers of protesters have swelled in North Gotham. Breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings up the fly room. Penguin said to wait for his call. He's setting something up with a buyer. Yeah, but he ain't called. You don't think... I mean, you don't think Freeze would have turned on him. I wouldn't doubt it. That guy ain't human. He looks at everything like it's next to me. I know. And those eyes, goggles, whatever. Blah. Gives me... well, chills. Are you two quivering idiots sure you're in the right line of work? Dinosaurs! Yeah, he's 80! 